It was in 1985 that Swami Thuriyamrdananda wrote the first 32 verses of Omkara Divya Purale as an offering to Amma on her 32nd birthday. The verses were a collection of Amma's sayings in poetry form. The compilation was a call of Amma to her children clear instructions to spiritual aspirants regarding various sadhana, spiritual practices, attitude, love, compassion, uh, patience, determination, discernment, karma yoga, jnana yoga, and bhakti yoga, and much more. Reading through the verses of the first volume of Omkara Divya Purule, severing every word, deeply feeling the meaning, contemplating and setting music to the lyrics is one of my life's most memorable and spiritually uplifting moments. Every word of Amma, every comma, every semicolon filled my heart and soul with love and devotion. Swami Thuriyamrudananda has captured and imbued every breath and every heartbeat of Amma into the lyrics, making setting music effortless. I can still vividly recall the day when the recording was made. The recording session took place on the first floor of the old press building that is in a second floor in the US. During the entire recording session, Amma was present in person. Her divine presence and heavenly voice, Nada Brahma, transformed the whole atmosphere into an experience beyond words. Amma singing along with us made the words immensely vibrant and profound. It was as if the words sprouted wings. Although the tune was simple, it sounded out of this world. A devotee from Kochi named Baburaj had just bought a brand new sound system. He wanted to record Amma's bhajans before using the equipment for any other purpose. I want to share another unforgettable incident that occurred around the same time that is the first volume of Omkara Divya Purale was written and recorded. As I mentioned earlier, we were also preparing to celebrate Amma's 32nd birthday. On the evening of the birthday, we decided to sing the entire newly recorded Omkara Divya Purale. Hardly halfway through the singing, I went into a rapture. It was an unfathomable experience. I experienced Amma, her infinite love, her unconditional presence in every word of the song. It filled my entire being with an unknown bliss. At that moment, I was transported to another world. It was an indescribable experience. So in short, Omkara Divya Purule, Amma's nectarous words strung into beautiful poems are no less than the Upanishads. Here, in these lyrics, you will find the Upanishadic rishis speaking in simpler words, understandable to anyone and everyone. It has the same depth, spiritual significance and vibration. They have the power to inspire us, restrain us from the unwanted and unhealthy habits, elevate our thoughts, cleanse our minds, fill them with pure devotion, and eventually raise us to a state of supreme love and self-realization. Om Amradeshwariyai Namaha. <laughs>